Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install a LibreWave sample library on Windows. So I'm using Windows 10. If you go to LibreWave.com, click on my account and sign in, and then go to orders or downloads. Both of them will take you to the downloads you've got. I'm going to go to orders and select this last order that I made. So this was an order for Kazbek, the Armenian woodwind library. Over on the right hand side, we can see the files that are available for download. So the top three are installers. I'm going to select the Windows installer, so I'll click and start that downloading. And the last file here is the samples, so I'll click that one to download that. Depending on the product you're installing, you may have multiple sample files. For example, Sophia Woodwinds has nine separate sample files, so just make sure you download all of the files that are required for the product you're installing. Okay, they've downloaded now, so I'm going to go to my downloads folder. So you can see I have two files. I've got the installer file. This is for the software, the actual sampler. And then I have the samples. Now the samples are in a compressed archive, like a zip file and it has the extension .hr1. So we'll start by installing the software. So we have to allow it past this security, just click run anyway. And this will be different if you're on a different version of Windows. There's the license if you want to read that. We'll accept that and move on. Choose the location where you'd like to install the standalone application. And now choose the location for the 32 bit plugin if the product comes with a 32 bit plugin, and the 64 bit plugin if it comes with a 64 bit plugin. And here you can actually customize which parts you install, and then hit install. So that's the software installation complete. We can now click finish. And we can actually remove the installer completely, we don't need that anymore. And now we're just left with the sample archive, so we're going to install the samples. So to do that you need to run either the plugin that you've installed, or the standalone application. Either one will do, and you'll get the exact same prompt. We're going to run the standalone application. Okay, and you'll get this prompt when you open it, and you can either install the samples or choose a sample folder. If this is the first time you've installed the library and the samples are in a .hr format, make sure you select install samples. If you've previously installed the samples and they're in a different format, then you can choose an existing sample folder. But since this is the first time, we're going to choose install samples. And now it asks us to select the hr1 file. So we'll go to the downloads folder and select the HR1 file and hit open. And now it's asking us to choose a location to actually extract the samples to. So we will choose the desktop. I'm actually going to create a new folder on the desktop and we'll call this folder Kazbek samples. And now we get the sample installer interface, and it's actually quite simple. At the top here, we have a selection for the HR1 file. We've already done that. A selection for the sample folder where they're going to be installed on our desktop. We've done that. We can choose the bit depth, either 16 bit or 24 bit. We can choose if we want to overwrite older files with any newer ones. So this setting is only important if you're reinstalling or installing a newer set of samples. So we'll just leave that at the default setting. And this final setting, if we leave this option on no, nothing will happen. If we set it to yes, then once the sample extraction has finished, the HR1 file will be automatically deleted. So I'm going to leave this on no. Now I'm going to hit OK and the samples are going to be extracted to this folder on the desktop.
So all samples were successfully imported, so we'll click OK. And if we go to this folder on the desktop, we can see the sample files have been extracted. However, if we play on the instrument, you won't hear any sound, and that's because before you can use the instrument, you have to close it and reopen it. So I'm going to close the instrument now. I'm actually going to reopen it as a plugin in Reaper just to show you what that looks like. So I'll add it to a track as a plugin. And because of the way I'm recording this video, we're not going to hear any sound when I play on the keyboard. But if you look down here at Reaper's meters, you will see them move as audio passes through them. So I just want to show you two more things. Let's say we move the samples to a different location. Perhaps you decide you don't want them on your desktop anymore, so we put them somewhere else. Let's move them to the downloads folder. When we relaunch the plugin, it's not going to be able to find the samples. So we'll re add the plugin. And it says the sample library does not exist. So we can click ignore, but it's not going to produce any sound, of course. So the solution to this is to click the settings button. And the location of the settings button will vary between different products, but there'll always be a settings button in these LibreWave libraries. So you click settings and on the engine tab, the first tab, you can see sort of faintly, it doesn't show up very well on this particular interface, but it says change sample folder location. And you can see the current location it's expecting there. So it's looking on the desktop. It's not finding them because we moved them to the downloads folder. So we click this button here where it says change folder location and we just redirect it to the downloads folder or wherever you've moved them to. And we get a prompt, you need to reload the plugin to complete this step. So again, it's like before when we first did the installation, we have to reload the plugin before we'll get any sound. And now we can see the meters in Reaper are moving again because it's happily found those samples once more. Now, if something goes horribly wrong with the entire installation process and you just want to start again, all you have to do is delete the configuration files and then relaunch the instrument. So let me show you where those files are on Windows. So you need to go to your C drive. You need to go to Users. You need to select your user folder and then you need to make hidden files visible. Then you have to select App Data and then go into the roaming folder and look for the LibreWave folder. And then inside this folder, you'll see a folder for each LibreWave product you've installed. So I'm going to go into the Casbec folder. Now you can just delete this folder entirely if you just want to start the process over from scratch. But if you've already been using the library for a while, you might have some custom user presets in this folder and you don't want to delete those. So to reset the whole sample installation thing, just delete this link windows file. And to reset the whole instrument, including user presets, just delete the Casbec folder entirely. And now when we launch Casbec again, we're prompted to install the samples or choose a sample folder location. So it's just like the first time we ran the library. So it just kind of resets it to that stage. So that's about all I've got for this video. If you found it useful, please let me know. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below the video on YouTube and I will see you next time.